Hello there guys and welcome to part 20 something of Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. So a few warnings before I start. Yeah, I may sound a little weird. It's because I have been sick for a while. That's why I haven't been uploading as much. And also, um, if I start to cough, it's, it's not any regular cough. It kind of sounds like a dinosaur that's hungry i don't know it just doesn't sound right so if you hear that do not be worried it's just my cough but anyway darren is on his way to the park because there was nothing to do at home so i'm having him head down to the park with kaisen and the dogs um as soon as lydia bob goes home i don't know i'm just gonna have her i guess chill at home she should be getting a promotion today um, and I'm really glad about that because I've been wanting her to get a promotion for such a long time. She's been stuck at level 5 of her career for way too long and just needs to go. And as for Jamie, he's almost done getting out of school. I don't know what we're gonna do with him. Maybe we'll have him, um, come here to the festival as well and hold up. What is that? Is it not- is my game not gonna zoom in? I see you. I'm creeping. I see you. Oh, you look like a little rat. You look like Yuki from Fruits Basket. But you're still kind of cute. You're so tiny. Look at you. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally taking my time. To just, oh, it's not gonna let me go anymore into the floor. But... It looks like a little... A little fetal pig. Reminds me of the one I had to dis dissect in um, class the other day. Lovely image, right? Alright, Darren, get out of school. Let's see. He's apparently fatigued about something. I don't remember why. But anyway, James Lucas will be taking a field trip tomorrow to the Wilson Elk Community Theater. He is always going on field trips. I have never had a sim go on so many field trips, you know, as he does. It's so many. My goodness. Is Darren at the park yet? No. He's, he's still. Still not even. He is walking there. That's why. You couldn't have gotten a cab. I understand you can't drive there yourself, but you couldn't have gotten a cab for anything. Are the dogs coming too? Yeah, they're gonna take 500 years walking behind him, so I'm gonna have them just stay home. Screw it. Go home, dogs. Just go home. But yay, he's almost there. Two sim hours later. Great. Great, great. Alright, so you're gonna put Kiss in here. We are going to search for eggs before Agnes Crumplebottom gets herself to steal all of them from us, which would not be good. I do not appreciate that. So here we go. He's gonna go search for some, see what he finds. And... Really? Just whistle outside of my room. Not doing anything. <laughs> we found our first egg. I'm sorry. I, I just oh, I always get so annoyed when people do that while I'm recording. Here's a random dog destroying flowers. And look, there's another one right there. No, not even. Just, it's right here. Pick up festival egg. Jeez, it's quicker if I look for them myself, isn't it? Alright, so there's one there. Is she coming for this egg? She better not be. It's mine. Yeah, girl, you keep on walking. You keep on walking. Don't talk to this girl! No, she is not worth it. Just go take the eggs. Take the egg. Um, let me see if I find any other ones. There are two right here. Pick up festival egg. Pick up festival egg. I think we're gonna win. I think we've gotten most of them. There's usually not, you know, that many. Hmm. Alright, I'm thinking that's it, maybe. Yeah, I think we're good. Screw it. So after he picks those two up, I want to see what we can redeem at this festival. I'm not sure if I checked it the last time during the last festival, but we'll see. We'll see in just a moment. So he's picking up another one, and then we're going to have him come redeem the festival tickets. Let's see, what are we going to get? And menu load now. There we go. So we can still get that Aflata Lounge, the Rain Disruptor, you know, which is just an umbrella. Um, the Horseshoe Court, the Busy Bee Bouncing Bobble Soccer Goal, the Love Inspector, the Face Painting Booth, 
think, okay, Bucktooth Butternuts. We're gonna get both these two things. So we're gonna get this, this. We may as well get the busy bouncing thingy for the kid. We can get this horseshoe court. And I think we have the inflated lounges already, but just in case, I'll get like three. All right, so we have that. Um, I was gonna do something specifically. Is she home yet? No, when Lydia Bob gets home, I want to do something, but she's going to do business as usual, because she's going to get a promotion anyway. And what he is going to do... Kaisen is still alive. Sorry, I had to make sure of that. I'm a horrible sim parent. Make sure he's still alive. Um, there was something specifically I was going to do, and I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Oh well. Sucks. Okay, so I'm going to have them spend a little more time there. Have him head home. And where is Jamie? Jamie, where are you? Oh, you're hanging out in the kids room. Whatever, so he also already did his homework. What? Dang, now he just has free time. Well, I think I know what we're gonna do. We are going to invite Kaylin Langerach. She's gonna be coming over. And yes, with the Langerach family, I, I, I like to say Langerach on purpose. Add some phlegm at the end of that, specifically. And is my sound on? No, it's not. Hold up a second, guys. Yeah, nothing can ever go right in my Let's Plays. But here are the dogs just hanging out, being their cute selves. Let's hang out with Monkey. We are going to feed Monkey a treat, and just to be nice, we are gonna feed Mr. Big, what was his name? Mr. Boots. Oh, there we go, Mr. Boots some as well. So, Monkey gets a treat. What are their genders? I can't really tell. Okay, so they're both boys, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. So just gonna feed him a treat. And then Darren is just gonna come here with Kyson. We want to test out some of the objects here. Oh, and she's here! Girl, do you live like five seconds away or something? That was fast! We're gonna be friendly and, um... We'll greet her first. I think that would make sense. So after we give a doggy a treat, come greet her! gonna put this out here along with our other ones. I don't remember us snowman bitter totter. Uh, I remember I said I was gonna name them but I don't think I'm going to. I'm too lazy. So we have those two. We have whatever the heck this is. Is that a f supposed to be a freezer bunny? I can't- yeah. Oh it's sleeping! Oh that's cute. And she just threw a water balloon at him. And oh and he's up for it! They are going to have a water balloon fight. Okay, just walk there. You'd think when someone's having a water balloon fight that they're gonna, like, run. And you're like, haha, let's run and have this water balloon fight. Nope, they're just like, slow motion. So there they go. And here, I feel like in town you always see random animals just going on in the back. Let's see. Alright, throw one at her. Ha! Yes. He got one point in. Look at that. He's not completely horrible. And Lydia's here. I didn't get the notification that she got promoted, did I? Oh, here we go. Congratulations! Leah Bob's impressive performance has earned her promotion to trauma surgeon, as well as a bonus of 936 simoleons. Patients who suffered a grievous injury or a grievous injury come to trauma surgeons to save their lives in the emergency room. Seconds count, and the entire responsibility for failure tests on your hopefully able shoulders. Thankfully, the entire high live that hospital is here to wipe your brow when needed. Just not everyone at once. <laughs> okay, so um, she now makes 102 per hour. That is a lot of money. And works from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. I see why she's getting paid a lot. It's because of the hours, how they're late hours. Ooh, that's, that's crazy. That is a lot. And she goes to work tomorrow at 7 p.m. Oh, that's so late to be going to work. It's gotta suck. Um, as for Darren, you taking care of Kaisen. How is Kaisen? Is he doing good? Uh, he, he could have a bottle. Let's see. Just feed him in the high chair. I feel like I don't usually get babies high chairs. So it'd be nice to feed him in there. Make some use of it while he's still young. And we are going to give him some food. There we go. Dang, that's a huge bowl. He's a baby, dude. 
think he needs that much. It's cra you crazy, you crazy. Alright, so one thing you guys suggested, you wanted to see Lydia actually have her own child. I would do that. See, the thing is... That's difficult, because one, we already have Kaisen. We would have to, you know, make more room in the house, which is a lot of effort on my part, and I'm a lazy bum. And just... I don't know, it would take her forever to get back to work, and I really do want her to actually get her lifetime wish. So I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I won't get her to the end of the career, but you guys will just have to tell me how you feel about that, I guess. Alright, so now they're just talking back here. What are they talking about? I need to be nosy. He's being social. Let's see if he can try to- oh, she's leaving. Girl, get over here. We did not tell you to go inside the house. He is going to try to flirt a little bit, see how this works. Oh, oh, look at that, okay. So let's try compliment pins, all this fun stuff. We don't want to, no, just travel to Egypt, no. That's almost as annoying as that this sim is asking you out on a date box that appears in the middle like every two sim hours. It irritates me. Especially when your sims are married and ask them, you're like, no, I don't want to hang out with you, go away. So, um, flirt a little bit more, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't want to do anything too soon, but at the same time, it's just taking too dang long. Um, romantic, let's try this one, okay, maybe too soon. But I'm trying it. Oh. Awkward. She was just like, uh, yeah, cool. That's awkward. Alright, alright, we'll work our way up. We'll work our way up. Fine. Making this difficult. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I'm just gonna speed through it. Just wait till it gets to friendship status. How long does it take to get to friendship status? Come on. So close, so close. Alright, Squirt, we're gonna give you flowers. Maybe you'll appreciate that. Yay, she did! Oh, see? That worked. What? What? This sim will get bored if you keep using the same entire- We used it once before that. Girl, go home. Go home. You ain't even worth it. <sighs> Teenage sims in this town. Jeez, so annoying. But he doesn't care. He's just gonna go to sleep or something. It's not your day, Jamie. Today is really not your day. At least he's an honor student, right? No, not worth it. Oh. Okay. So she is whipping up the guitar of dreams that she never pursued. And anyway, let's see. She should probably do her research for work tomorrow. There we go. I knew I was forgetting something. That's horrible what I just said. I f I'm sorry. I apologize, Lydia. I really do. Darren, put Kaisen away. Kaisen, can you just knock out? Please go to sleep. Go to sleep, Kaisen. Someone commented in the comments saying, he He's a mistake. We didn't want you. And I was like, dang, that is extreme. <laughs> that is horrible. But All right, we're, we're going to leave you in there. Goodbye. You know what he hasn't done in a while, Darren? One, use the bathroom. <laughs> and two... We have to have him finish writing The Hidden Potato. How long has it been? He hasn't written too much. Like, he's still- yeah, level 3 in his career. Pathetic. You're right, boy, you're right. This is almost done with it. So we're gonna speed through that, see how it all goes. Hopefully it's a successful book. That is all I hope it is. Because I remember one time my sim literally sold a book for like- no simoleons, it was horrible. Like, you'd think 25 simoleons is no money. It, 
it was less than that. I'm not saying the amount she made because it's embarrassing. Yeah. Did she seriously just let Kaisen out? I wasn't really paying attention to what just happened, but the heck. And he's always going to play with the imaginary friend in Jamie's room. No. Wiggles does not want to be your friend. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. Okay, it's a new script. No, you're not eating till you put this child away. And then, th then you can eat your shawarm. How does this even pronounce? The shawarma. There we go. I used to think the name was Shwamarama or something, but no, it's Shwarma. Oh, that thing is so creepy. So creepy. We should have sent it back to its motherland. Mm. Okay, so she is gonna eat and then go to sleep because she's boring. She's almost as irrelevant as Jean. And Darren, please finish writing your freaking book. It takes too long. Come on, so close, so close. Just finish it. Just finish it. And then you can eat. Yay! Oh, and he got decent money out of that. Did I get a notification? Alright, he has finished the bone chilling novel, The Hidden Potato. Its 410 pages are filled to the brim with horror. The first reviews are already in, and it's clear that The Hidden Potato is destined to be a bestseller. Of course it is. You know, hipsters and their books that have weird titles. You know what I mean? For example, the book All My Friends Are Dead, or I I Could Pee On That Book. Yeah. It, it, that's, it's not the title. It's the book's names I Could Pee On That. Yeah. It's it's literally called that. It's wonderful. But anyway, um, why are you even up? You already got a full night's sleep? Alright, well, whatever. Um, I'm gonna end the part here. Anyway, I think it's been long since it's already morning and sim time. So I'm gonna end it here. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed, and goodbye.